Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here with KB Trainings where I share with you everything that I do in my small environment here. So you know that I destroyed my lab to reinstall everything. So today what I'm going to do is install a DNS server on our Windows Server 2016 that I installed in the last video. I need a DNS server because it's really important in my network to have the name of all the devices instead of trying to memorize the IP addresses. Because you know the service, I mean the DNS is the domain name system, it's that system that changes or transforms or resolves um, domain names into IPs. Let's say if you want to go on google.com, you don't have to know what IP Google is using right now because you already have the fully qualified um, domain name, which is google.com. If you want to know what IP is behind that FQDN, you can just run NSLOOKUP and type google.com. So this is the IP, this is the IPv6 and the IPv4 that Google is using right now. So the DNS is really important. I have a bunch of computers, I just install them and even some of my future um, systems that I'm going to install will require a domain controller. I mean, will require um, a domain name uh, system. So after the domain name system, I'm going also to install a DHCP server and then I'm going to transform this uh, Windows server to become a domain controller in my lab environment. And I'm going to install um, Active Directory and all the other services. So right now, uh, let's go and start with the DNS. Oh, by the way, my course is available on kbtrains.com. If you're working for the CCNA, if you want to become a network engineer and you want to get your CCNA, um, check out kbtrains.com forward slash CCNA. Or if you're going for the CCNP, I also have uh, some other content for the Encore as well, just for for your information. So let's jump ahead and install the DNS on this computer. All right, so what we have to do is go under manage and click on add roles. So from here, I think I can skip this page. So we click next and we are installing a role based uh, feature. So we are going to keep that and click on next. Uh, we haven't renamed our server yet. So this is the server in which we are installing after we'll have to change that for proper names. So click on next. And here we select DNS server and these are all the features that are going to come with it. So we click on add features and um, that's all we can do for now. Uh, DHCP will be in the next video. So after selecting DNS server, we click on next and uh, these are required for this installation. So we just leave everything as is and click on next. And then uh, from here, I think we are almost done. We just click on next. Um, and here, do we need to restart the server? Yeah, we. I don't mind restarting if I have to. So I select that option and click on install. So the server is now installing the DNS service on this Windows server. So it just finished and it says installation succeeded. So we just click on close to close that window. So we have our server installed. What we have to do now is go on the tool and click on DNS to open the DNS tool. So we have this interface here. So this is our server. Uh, is, again, we'll have to change the name to remove this. I'll have a, a lab.com um, domain name, like local domain name. So we are going to create a forward lookup zone here. This is the, the service that will transform our FQDN or domain names in uh, IP. So we do a right click and click on new zone. And uh, from here we click on next. It's going to be our primary zone. We click on next. What's a zone name? We will name it lab.com uh, lab and click on next. So it's going to create a new file in the, in the system. So here we need to select uh, if we want to allow any device to update dynamically the, the DNS records. I uh, can just uh, click yes because it's, it's a lab environment. So we don't, we're not worried about uh, security. So we click on next and uh, that's it. So we click on finish. So we have our first zone. If you, if we open it, we have these two entries that are always there. We have the SOA or start of authority, and we also have the domain name itself. So this is where I can add a new device or a new, a new entry if I want to. 
so let me add my windows which is a 10.0.0.3 um oh, okay this is actually the name so it's going to be called kb trainings and the ip is going to be 10.0.0.3 and then we click on add host and that's it so the host has been added to our dns record so if I am on this Windows, for example, let me go under network settings and make sure that the DNS is set to 10.0.0.2, which is our Windows server address. All right, so we are opening IPv4 and make sure that we have, um, so I need to remove, uh, I mean, I push, Google at the second position and leave 10.0.0.2 as the primary DNS and I'll click on OK and OK and close. So that's it. So to test if it's working, we do we go under the, the command prompt and do the NS lookup for KB trainings.lab.com. You can see that we have an answer here from our 10.0.0.2 responding and giving us the 10.0.0.3 as the IP for kbtrainings.lab.com all right that's it we just configured dns in our um, lab environment so we have that dns server available which is the primary dns and if it doesn't know the answer the secondary dns will be working which is google thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video uh, we're going to install um, a dhcp server and also an active directory and so on thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye Thank you.